Hi, I'm Matt. Argo have asked me to provide the following information to help ensure the connection of your Argo cooker can be completed on the day of delivery by following this simple pre-installation connection guide. This simple setup guide is designed to present you with an overview of the essential requirements for your new Arga ER3 series cooker. For full information, we highly recommend that you refer to your installation guide available on the Arga website. Should you need to make any alterations to your electrics, then you need to seek the services of a qualified electrical contractor. The product we are connecting here today is an ER3 150 model. If you have chosen the 160 or 170 model, you will notice some differences with the product, but the requirements for the electrical connections are the same. Check number one. You will need an accessible isolation switch that is within two meters of the cooker, but not above or behind it, and in the same room. The Arga will need a dedicated 32 amp electrical supply using a minimum six millimeter feed direct from the consumer unit. Check number two. The main connection point should be within 1.6 meters of the bottom corner of the complete cooker on either the left or right side. Check number three. If you have chosen an ER3 series cooker with an induction unit, an additional 13 amp power supply will be required or a switched fused spur. This needs to be within 1.3 meters of the rear bottom corner of the complete cooker at either side and cannot be above or behind and must remain accessible. Check number four. For the ER3 series models 150, 160 and 170, there is an extra unit to be fitted, like this one, which is an ER3 150, so it has an additional 60 centimeter unit. The electrical connection for the 150, 160 and 170 are the same and connects either with a three pin plug, a switched fused spur. This must be within two meters of the rear left hand corner or within 1.4 meters of the rear right hand corner of the complete unit and cannot be above or behind and it must remain accessible. So to recap, if you have an ER3 series 150, 160 or 170 model, you'll need a connection point for the main cooker, a further connection point for the induction hob if you've chosen that option, and a third connection point for your additional oven unit. If on the day of delivery it is not possible to have your electrical connections in place, then we are still able to deliver, position and set up your Arga ready for your electrical contractor to make the final connections at a suitable time. Once that has been completed, your Arga is ready to use. You may want to check out our self-help guide on switching on your Arga for the first time.